I'm really not too crazy about giving negative reviews, especially when I'm given a product for free. But at the same time, I'm really not going to lie about something that happens while I'm testing out a product. So sorry, Chotech, but this review isn't totally positive. Um, but uh, I will mention the struggles I had getting this product to work. And uh, if you guys are going to have those same struggles as well, because you guys might not actually have them. And by the way, I do have an unboxing for this uh, little, uh, I guess, wireless charger for your car. So if you guys want to know what it comes with and stuff like that, check out that unboxing. Uh, probably this over here somewhere. I don't know. Somewhere. So right off the bat, this thing looks pretty good in my car. It clips right onto your air vents, which is pretty nice. Although if you have a really heavy phone, it might drag down your air vents a little bit. Um, but it looks pretty good if uh, your air vents are, are at eye level, or your phone will be at eye level. So that's pretty cool. So uh, overall, that's a pretty good design. You will notice that the charger covers a large uh, portion of your phone, which uh, I guess is good because you won't really be too tempted to use your phone while you're driving. And uh, I guess it's bad because then you can't use your phone, but uh, I guess, you know, it is what it is. It probably balances out. Also, uh, the charger is pretty tight, so if you have a really fat smartphone that has like a big battery, or if you have like a case on your phone, uh, it's not going to fit in there. Um, I know I personally had to take my case off. Um, so if you like having your case and wirelessly charging it through your case, which sometimes works and sometimes doesn't, um, then it's not going to work regardless on this because it just won't fit. And you know, I talked about this in, in the unboxing that I made for this, but I'm still not a big fan of the cord that uh, like hangs out like for like, I don't know, like half a foot outside this thing. I wish it just had um, a little port on the inside of it um, instead of that thing dangling out because it just looks cheap and uh, honestly kind of stupid too, I think, in my opinion. And by the way, uh, right where that cable comes out, do you see that little blue light in there? Okay, now that's cool. You know, it shows that your phone is charging even though it lit up on my phone and I could never get my phone to charge, which I'll talk about later. But that light, uh, ideally, I think it would be awesome to have that on the outside of that thing. It looks like maybe they just used one of their old chargers and they put it inside there. And that charger had a light on there inside there and now the light, I don't know. Regardless, um, have a light on the outside if there's going to be a light at all. And finally, this thing just flat out didn't work with my phone at all, which really sucks. And as you'll see in some B-roll footage, I actually do have a QI wireless charging shell on my phone. I bought it maybe like a year ago or something, and it was pretty expensive. So I hope the QI wireless charging shell on my phone isn't broken and that's causing a problem. Basically, what's, either the problem is with my charging shell or with this charger. Um, other people that have reviewed this charger said that it worked for them. It's not working for me, so that's really disappointing. Um, and I tested this thing like I tested this thing like crazy, but uh, it's just not working for me. It could be my issue. It could be Trotex issue. Uh, I don't really know. And I do have a bit of good news. The wireless charger comes with a micro USB cable and a 2.1 amp uh, USB charger that you can use in your car. So if you buy this and the wireless charging doesn't work for you, like in my case, basically, uh, you can actually still charge your phone, just not wirelessly. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess that's cool. It's nice that they give you 2.1 amps, by the way. That's way better than if it was like a one amp charger. So uh, at least, uh, you know, they uh, did a good job there. So my decision for this product uh, really should be quite obvious at this point. I really can't uh, recommend something that didn't work for me. Uh, Trotec really does have some other great products out there. Um, their other wireless chargers worked great for me and uh, they're even just plug-in chargers are really, really fast. But uh, I can't recommend something that doesn't work for me. So uh, sorry, Trotec. And with that said, I hope this review was helpful to you guys. Uh, sorry that uh, I, I don't know, this review, I've been working on it for a while just because I've been trying to get this thing to work and I still never got it to work, which was really, really disappointing. But I hope you guys found this helpful and all that cool stuff. I will be having a giveaway for this because uh, uh, Trotec gave me this for free. If you guys have wireless charging on your device, you can at least try it. And if it doesn't work for you, then you can just throw away the charger and just use the 2.1 amp uh, car outlet charger and the micro USB cable um, because those do work. So at least you get something out of it. But, uh, you know, whatever. Oh, and by the way, like the video if you guys like this uh, or this review. And uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews like this in the future because uh, that does mean a lot. And uh, by the way, thanks Trotec for giving me this product. I'm sorry it didn't work out, but uh, you know, you guys have other good products. Uh, I'm not saying your company's bad or anything, but uh, in this case, it uh, just didn't work for me at all. 
Beyond that, you guys have a crazy motherfucking day. Uh, follow me on Twitter, by the way, I'm wearing my shirt. And I'll see you crazy motherfuckers later. Peace out.